Hello class, I am here to talk to you about a history of modern acting, method acting to be specific. Now, Stanislavski trained many actors for the Moscow stage. He was famous and infamous, a giant of a personality. He did not get along with his primary playwright, Anton Chekhov, but his technique and his brilliant directing style made him a superstar with everyone else. He trained many actors, but most notably for our purposes, he trained a man named Richard Boslavsky. By the way, Boslavsky has a wonderful yellow book titled Six Lessons in Acting that I feel is a must read for every new actor. It outlines uh, Stanislavski's technique, but it keeps it simple as opposed to Stanislavski's books, which are very thorough, but often wordy. Um, you can find Boslavsky on the left side of your handout under early work. Boslavsky came to New York in the 1920s and started his own studio, training actors in the Stanislavsky system. Among his trainees were notables such as Stella Adler and Harold Klerman, and there was a man named Lee Strasberg. Lee Strasberg is truly the man who is credited for developing method acting, okay? Uh, Lee Strasberg then went on to train Sanford Meisner. I hope you're following along in your Stanislavski family tree handout, okay? Um, okay, so by that time, the method that Strasberg and Meisner were espousing had notable differences from Stanislavski's original system. By then, it had fully developed into its own brand known as The Method. <laughs> Remember when I said that Stanislavski's system was inside out and outside in, okay? Well, Strasberg and Meisner's techniques mostly um, left out the outside in part and instead focused primarily on the psyche, the emotion, and the actor's internal process. Okay, um, Marlon Brando and Marilyn Monroe were among the group theater's original and most famous actors. Um, so, Strasberg, Meisner, Stella Adler, Harold Klerman, who was actually a director, uh, were all founding members of this studio called The Group Theater in New York. Other notables of the group were Uta Hagen, Arthur Miller, who was a playwright, Elia Kazan, who was a theater and film director, Marlon Brando, Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, many others. Ever see classic movies like On the Waterfront or Streetcar Named Desire or East of Eden? Or how about just anything with Marlon Brando or Eva Marie Saint? If so, then you have seen the work of the group theater. So, at some point, Stella Adler decided to go back to Russia to study with Stanislavski himself. Upon her return, she declared that her colleagues Strasberg and Meisner, with their sense memory and their mumbly performances, she declared that they had gotten it all wrong. She began training actors in her own version of the method that she claimed was far truer and purer from um, form of Stanislavski's method, okay? Stella Adler is famous for remarking that when playing a Hamlet, you should never try to put your own feelings, experiences, and attitudes into the role because you are not a prince of Denmark. <laughs> Her method scorns the tendency of Strasberg and Meisner's methods to tap into painful childhood memories in order to play a character who's going through pain. Um, in Adler's technique, the actor must use their imagination and the circumstances of the play in order to play any role. So Adler's method relies very much on imagination and understanding of the play in order to successfully act a role. Okay, um, the group theater went on and on and eventually became the Actors Studio, which is a conservatory that now offers MFA degrees through the New School in New York. And then of course, 
There is the Bravo television series called Inside the Actor's Studio, which used to be a very serious look at the craft of the actor, um, but it has become now more of a, uh, a lengthy celebrity spotlight. Um, it's still interesting sometimes with the right guest, but I've left out the interesting part. Okay, the 1950s were a charged time in American history, uh, and especially in the theater and film industries, okay? Um, pop quiz, how well do you remember your American history lessons, okay? Remember the McCarthy era, uh, where the U.S. government went out, like, hunting for communists? The House Un-American Activities Committee, also known as HUAC or H-U-A-C, would subpoena members of the artistic community and grill them, and interrogate them about their connections to the Communist Party and force them to release names of others they knew who were communists. Arthur Miller's play, The Crucible, uh, which is about the witch hunts a couple hundred years ago, um, is a grand allegory about the HUAC trials. Um, Elia Kazan, who was a theater and film director and Arthur Miller's close friend, best friend maybe, uh, made the decision to be a friendly witness to Huac and did indeed give names of those who had been in the party with him back in the 1930s, the Communist Party. His list included several members of the group theater. The leaders of the group theater were torn apart on the occasion of Elia Kazan's testimony before Huac. This decision cost him some of his closest friends, uh, such as playwright Arthur Miller, and professional relationships as well. Many close to him felt the honorable thing would have been to not cooperate with Huac and suffer whatever consequences would fall. With this knowledge, I hope that um, someday you will go back and reread plays like The Crucible and A View from the Bridge and re-watch movies, if you haven't watched them already, um, like On the Waterfront, um, listen to what Marlon Brando says in On the Waterfront about being a stool pigeon. Uh, Eddie Carbone, the character, his lines about being a snitch. Uh, or in The Crucible, Proctor's morally triumphant final scenes where he can't give away his name because his honor is so important to him. You can see how these works, so charged with the political climate, were also very personal works, expressing deep-seated hurt and betrayal that only close friends endure. So that is a quick spotlight on um, history of modern acting, specifically in America. I hope you enjoyed it, and feel free to shoot me any questions in the discussion forum if you have any. See you on the boards.